QSC. We got a very special guest. We in Milwaukee. We in Milwaukee. And like I said, real quick, I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart. I've been watching this guy for years. He don't know it, but I've watched it for years. Lots of tours. I've been watching it from him, even though I'm from Chicago. But it came from him. So, so it's a lot of inspiration. So his, his power from YouTube, it goes not beyond Midwest, beyond the nation. I want to say I appreciate it because, like I said, that's it's, it's been a blast. I've been watching this guy for many, many years. Um, real quick, got co-host. What's your name? Latanya, aka Melanie Shots. All right, all right. Now he can introduce himself. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I'm Nico, uh, Skate Fam, 414, Milwaukee 24, Skate Fam. Um, anything with Milwaukee in it that comes from that, anything with Milwaukee in it that is pro skating. Usually be coming from me, and I always tag Milwaukee just to show love to my city because I'm proud of my city. But I always put the 414 in the skate fam. You see, skate fam is usually me. All right, like I said, uh, first impressions is as far as the skating, like it's turn over there, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I love JB, but yeah, I, like I lived in Houston for about a year, I lived in Ohio, I lived in all parts of the country, and this right here. I'm gonna come up here more often. This, this, this is decent. It's decent as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, real quick, I'm gonna ask some good questions for you guys. Question for you. First question is in the in roller skate community, even though COVID happened, it's been kind of dying down because the rinks was closed. COVID, people's on skating, not skating rinks, just on the uh, tennis courts. Like you were in a lot of videos, were not. So, but now it's coming back in the community. Why is videography and social media a key part in roller skating? What's your thoughts on that? Um, I think it just gives people who don't usually see roller skating or who don't be in the rink, it exposes them to it and gives them a chance to see what's going on. A lot of people are into skating and think it's fun and just don't know that people still be skating. Mm. So when you get those videos up, everybody see it and it's like, oh, I need to go join them. Oh, I need to go get some skates. It's like right. a visual reminder that we still here and this culture is still going strong. So okay. it's extremely important. Okay. Now, by saying that too, as a video, I can say, I've been doing this about three months now. I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm not like That's this guy it. here. I thought you was doing it longer than that. No. I wish. I'm, 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 trying, I'm telling you, I'm trying to get like this guy right here. Y'all know it. I'm trying to get but, like him. Nah, nah, man, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but um, one thing I have noticed is, even though it's a very small group of us, Especially in Chicago, there's about like at least five ones that have a big, a decent name. And I guess right now my my name is just alright, whatever. But um, when it comes to videographers, you feel there's a bias towards certain skaters. What I mean by that is, if I go to a skating rink, right, and I see a certain skater, okay, I'm gonna get good content from him. Or you look at this skater you've never seen before, you feel you wanna go to one, you know, you'll get good content from, but that unknown person. Like, what do you think on that? Is it bias or no bias? We see that in other videographers. You were asking as far as what the skater put out for the... So, let's say if I'm, I'm me, right? And I see a, a, a regular come to the skating rink. And you know he's going to be good content. I got to get him. But I see another skater. Never seen him before. Would you rather get... Would you, do you have a bias towards the skater that you always see? Or that one that you've never seen before? That he's possibly... He could be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see a, a bias. Are you saying me personally or yeah. all of Well, you can say you can say both. It's up to you. Oh, uh, well, me personally, I feel like I'm going to go get, try to record whoever is comfortable in front of the camera. Right. And if it's a stranger that I don't know, they might not be comfortable in front of the camera or in front of the big light. Okay. Like, I'm one of them people who you put the light on me and my feet going to run together and I'm going to trip myself. Right. So, <laughs> I be trying to go to the people that I know comfortable with it first and foremost. Okay. I try not to be biased, but I always ask before I put out, if anybody wants video, come up and let me know. If I don't right. normally record you, I know you comfortable if you let me know. I don't want to just intrude on your personal space, you know? Okay. So, let me ask you this. So, we, so do you ask for permission or you just go in like, hey... When it comes to like recording, like okay, it looks good recording them, or I gotta ask them, you know, for consent. I've done both. I try to always ask, but I ain't gonna lie. If somebody going too crazy, it'll just be my natural reaction. That's kind of because in the groove. But if they shoot me a look like, all right, I'm out of there. You know what I'm saying? Just... A lot of people is cool with it. It's like 
95% to 5%. Most times people cool with it. Right. But if I don't know, I will try to ask. Unless I catch you in the middle of going crazy, and I'll try to, you know, get a little footage. But okay, if okay. anybody not comfortable with it, always delete it. Stop right there. Like, and it, you know. But how do you know, like, if they're uncomfortable? Like, any signs? Like, okay, they kind of just back off or just like, hey, like, like, no. Like, what would they do, typically? All of that. <laughs> like, they give you the... Like, or they start not skating, they start slowly slowing down, and then they right. just be coasting. They'll shoot you a look or something. Or they might say, Give me later, let me practice right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I get that, of all we that. get that all the time. I tell you, like, I hate to cut you off, but like that, I, I, that's how we look first because, like, even though we've been doing this for three months now, you know, we ask people, most of them say, Yeah, I'm gonna give you a quarter, quarter. And then some of the best skaters I've seen, it's like, you ask them. I'm, 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 I'm all right. I'm terrible. But once they walk away, they want to. You know what I'm saying? That's so I mean, crazy. it's, it's. I see a lot. What not? Your hometown or everywhere? But what not? So right now, I've been, I've been the star, Glenwood rink. As far as like recording, um, pretty much all Chicago skating rinks. Um, a couple here, but I'm still trying to venture off and bring the camera. I, mean, so I, I travel with skater, but like, comes the camera, still starting off. So, um, but I still, still got to figure out what's best for me. All right. Um, but next question is, um, if roller skating wasn't a thing on social media, what do you feel like the state of roller skating would be in general? Would be in a, a bad state or like, in a perfect spot would be sacred? Do we got to worry about it? Like, what do you think about, about that? I think it'll be less egos in it for sure. Like, people get posted on social media and they pop. All right, testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Make sure everybody can hear me. Mic check. Noise cancellation is activated. All right. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? You good? Can you hear me? All right. All right. Three, two, one. QSC, what's going on? How y'all doing today? I got a really special guest. I came to Milwaukee. I got my. Inspiration right here. A lot of people don't know that you're not from Chicago. You got Batman, you got Maisha, you got all these, these, these kids. Now, what we're saying, so we, we talked about going back to the question if social media wasn't a thing for roller skating. So, if that wasn't the case, it's good, it's good. hello, could it be green? Well, that's the most cancellation, but go ahead, put that on. So, just so going back to the question. If roller skating wasn't a thing on social media whatsoever, you have everything on social media, you have music, trending stuff, whatever, but roller skating was not in that vicinity, what would the state of roller skating be in general? Would it be in a positive state or somewhere like somewhere negative? What do you think about that? I feel like it's a thin line between positive and negative on that one. Because for one, it'll be a lot less egos. You know, people get a lot of followers or a lot of people telling them you good. And then you see people start to act a little different sometimes. But on the other hand, I feel like it'll be less spreading of different styles because everybody can't travel. So when you have everybody that can travel and go to different events, you can pick up these styles. But a lot of people is just learning these styles via social media. Right. So I feel like it's a double-edged sword on it. But I feel like it'll really be more organic if it wasn't social media involved. Mm. More people will come to skate and not to be seen or to be in a video. Or, you know what I'm saying? Right. More people will do it for the love. Right. So I feel like it, it being organic would always be better. But, you know, right. it's I see the positive of both of it. All right. Now, going back to what you're saying was, now you said that there was egos. Keyword egos. And we experienced that. In a very short period of time. I mean, I know I experienced it. But he laughing, but you know, I've been skating for years. Me too. But now being so me, like a lot of guys know me in Chicago, or whatever, and they know me go to certain sessions because I'm the type of person, I'm gonna be straightforward, I don't care what you say. Um, but I go be, go to certain sessions because egos is not a big problem. But since I'm I'm in the business now and also the community. It comes ego, right? So I'm not gonna get on my part, but elaborate when you say egos. What is that? What do you mean by ego in the skate community? Well, something I've been seeing 
people get posted in a video here and there and then now they want to go around saying they the best skater or you have people that even when it comes to videographers like oh i'm cool with this videographer i'm so big or that videographer is so big only they can record me nobody else can record me type stuff right um you have people that they just like just a little bit turn into a different person like they used to be cool and then they got super good at skating they walk past you not speak they feel like everybody got to kiss their butt or something uh, like you know what i'm saying just little stuff but it's life it'll be like that in anything whether it's good basketball players good skaters good whatever like anywhere so you know what to expect now do you feel like uh because of that does that do any harm to the community and as a whole, because I, I, I believe with history, you go back to many years when, like, let's say civil rights, we use this as an outlet for, like, therapy. So with now social media coming to play, do you feel like, hey, now since we're back there, we used to be united, now we're kind of like this, you know, back off each other, now it's ego, I'm competing against you. Do you feel like that's the same way, how you feel about that? So how do you feel about that? No, I definitely feel like that. It drives a lot of division between us. Mm. Especially in a social media era where everybody got an opinion and everybody feel like their opinion valid and not everybody can just see everybody else's opinion. Before you knew everybody's opinion, it was just, oh, we here, we skating, la, la, la. But then people post how they feel about something and now you see, dang, they think like that and it just divide, it drive a wedge between everybody. Old and young, new skaters and older skaters, good skaters, bad skaters, like right. it's just it's too much division. And if everybody couldn't voice their opinions, I feel like we wouldn't have that. Okay, okay, all right. So um, so real quick, so before we started the uh, the um, the, the questions that uh, I showed him the question before we started. There's one. That kind of got him laughing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to ask it. I think it's a juicy one. So um, since I just started, I see he laughed again. He laughed again. Oh, man. <laughs> so um, you know what I'm talking about. So I just started my YouTube channel about how long been since YouTube channel? Like what? Three weeks? Two weeks? Yeah. yeah like I thought I'm doing okay, but not. Um, so as far as, as far as starting your brand and social media, YouTube or not. How hard is it to do that, especially like somebody upcoming as me? You know, what's your thoughts on that? Um, funny backstory: when I was trying to grow and get some traction to my channel, I was um uh, I was in college at the time, and me and my homie like we finna do YouTube. Dang, it's my song. But uh, I'm get you out there, don't worry. Oh, no, no, you good, you good. <laughs> I'm like, yo, me and my guy said so we finna do YouTube, and. We literally sat up for days in a row just making YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. I hope YouTube don't see this and try to ban my channel because they ain't active now and they've been canceled. But, man, we literally was like, we need a thousand subscribers. Bet. We tried <laughs> to make a thousand YouTube channels and subscribe to our own channel. I right. kid you not. Like, we got a notebook writing down all the emails and passwords trying to get to our own channel. Like, it was hilarious. But, right, right. anyway, um... I feel like growth just come with being consistent. Like, occasionally you get a nice little bump when you have a good video or you record somebody going extra crazy or you have a good edit. But just being consistent, you know, you get that a follower here, two followers there, and it just take time. Mm -hmm. um, dang, him just walking past just made me lose my train of thought for a second. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? It's pretty much being consistent. Um, Keep pushing yourself. Just, just talk about you know, just about that aspect about YouTube. Like you know, certain videos can bump you if somebody's going crazy, whatnot. Just, just stuff like that. Dang, it is not coming to me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like he just had like an all blue outfit on, and all I saw was blue. And like, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it's all, good. it's all good. Don't worry about it. It, I'll say it when it come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all good. It's all good. So, um, now next question is. Oh, and before we get there, I just want to go back to the other question. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. About um, the pros and cons, sort of, of uh, recording in the skate community. Right. And I feel like one of the biggest pros, this was the whole reason I started my channel um, based on skating. Because I just started my channel, didn't know what I was going to do. I just wanted to do YouTube at first. And I happened to be at the rink, 
and my boy Superman going super crazy, like, and I'm looking around like, bro, ain't nobody recording this. We right. don't want to watch this later. And I didn't want to store all the videos on my phone and save them for 10 years. I'm like, I'll just throw it on YouTube and let them store over there. So I just started recording all the people snapping, like, they going to want to see this, their kids going to want to see this later. Right, right. And I just thought it was dope to document that for them in the future. All right, all right, all right. So, um, kind of wrap it up when I, um, and I appreciate everything. No, I appreciate so you, bro. Uh, I'm honored to be on your channel. No, no, man. No, I got this guy on my nah, channel, man. Nah, 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 pleasure nah, is all mine, man. man. Try to act humble, man. I'm more humble than you. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> nah, you, you got know? it, Brody. But um, real quick, um, so since I picked up the camera or not, I know it's just one big thing. And she knows this. We talked about this yesterday. So um, actually last week or so, um, it, it feels like when I go to the skating rink now, it feels like it's an obligation to pick up the camera right here. You guys can't see it, but we can. So, what do you feel like now? Even though you said a passion for skating and whatnot, we feel like it's more important to your heart. Capturing a story of somebody else with a camera or you skating yourself in general? We feel like it's more important right now when it comes to, you know, both for of me. The, yeah, like the camera, recording other people, or just skating, just period. That's easy. The camera. Mm. And I feel like it shouldn't be like that because skating really was one of my first loves. Like, it's therapy, it's exercise, it's good for your mental health, like, all of that wrapped into one. So, I feel like I kind of neglected myself by being behind the camera too much. Mm. And I lost my balance. Mm. And what I would, I started to do was, I and I've always been one that, if skating started at 7, at seven I'm going to be there at 6.50. Like, I want to be first one in and put my work in. Mm. And when I start recording, I'm like, I got to make sure I get there on time so right. I can put my work in. And you know, all the skaters come fashionably late. So by the time they get there, I'll be done sweated out, got all my work in, practice what I wanted to do. And now I can focus on recording and I got both in. Right. But I definitely feel like I let recording take over too much of my mental space for a while. And I'm trying to step back and try to balance it out better now. So sure. all you that's coming up and want to record, Keep getting your skate on. Don't let it hold you back. For real, for real. Yeah, because it's, it's now, to me, I feel like I'm picking up more of the camera now than I ever thought I, I would. I mean, to me, like you said, consistency. Um, I was, I'll, I'll never forget this day. December 15th, I posted my first video. I used to ask people when I lived in Houston, hey, can you send me some videos when not? Send me some videos. You know, I'm, I'm going to try my camera when not. He's like, yeah, use your phone. Use your phone. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I need an actual <laughs> camera. I said, no, just record, just record, just record, record, I'm like, all right, yeah, whatever. So because I'm starting off, it's like, I'm looking, I'm nervous, like, hey, can I record you? Can I record you? He's like, go ahead. That first, that first yes, I went, I went and just went crazy. Then I got my set, I got my lights, I got my microphone, I got my, my gimbal, I got my stabilizer. Nice. So because Super of nice. that, since then, I have about, all, I have, I'm like at 190. Eight posts on my page now. It's been it's been almost what? It's two and a half months. I'm not trying to overflow, but it's starting to become a patch because I get to capture moments that I'm gonna go back. Like, dang, you have fun going, looking man, at it. Man, it's man, it's tough, man. It's like, man, I'm mean, this day's guy was going super crazy, but man, if I had that camera, he'd be like, dang, he was doing like that, but I get the, I get the proof. So I mean, um, it, it, it all came from him. When I, so I definitely appreciate it. Um, to me personally. I feel like it probably I'll probably pick up I'll probably keep the roller skating before the camera because through all the dark times I've been through, this right here on my feet is the one thing that kept me pushing. The camera, yeah, whatever, but I mean what once I got to the here, not this game, but like just any rink in general, everything that I was going through, I left at the door. Period. It's 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 no it's no it's nothing against that. So um I'm gonna say I'm gonna end off right there. This is this is my song, it's Miss Sneak on the track. I gotta get out of there. Hold on, before you go, I wanna know what been challenging for you? Like, the, oh. what you feel like is the most challenging since you stepped into the recording lane? I know I had to put you on the spot. No, buddy, it's okay, it's okay. I don't get no questions, but I, listen, I'm, I'm really talk. Um, I would say is, and she can vouch for this too. So we talked about egos or not. I said I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into the detail or not. Um, but so. In Chicago, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be biased. 
I think Chicago got the best skaters. I, I, I don't care what y'all say. I ain't going to lie to you. The degree of difficulty, I feel like Chicago is the toughest. Bro. And, you know, but the skaters from there do go to craziest. And, and because of that, um, it comes with a lot of ego. Like, a lot of ego. And it's unfortunate because with that power, you can do so much with that. And since, like I said before, I go to certain sessions like the older crowd, like, like 16 and up. You know, they have Kings on. And they, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they try to get to one point another corner, but guess what? It's love. Nobody judges you. When you fall down, they want to pick you up. If I go to a regular session at Redwood at a certain night, it's like you fall. It's like, you know, it's, it's like an emotion, tension. It's the extra stuff. So to me, if I'm trying to teach a new person, they wouldn't want to come back. It's like, dang, I feel like I got to, I feel like I'm, you know, the excitement I should shoot up. So, going back to the question, what you're saying was, the hardest thing was, again, just trying to get into the community in Chicago because I feel like now I'm involved in a lot of politics now. Because I got the camera, because I, cause the, 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 the power I have in, on the camera, <laughs> they notice that in such a little time. It's like, dang. Did I come up to you? Why you don't ever record me? It's, 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 it's ridiculous, man. But um, it's, I ain't going to go detail, but in and off, it's a lot of egos that I wish that it wasn't like that. It's not everybody, but certain people, they know who they are. We can talk about the scenes, we have to talk about the scenes, but like I said, I just want to make sure that we come back to the community because I see so many people that want to skate with me and they go to a session as a beginner. It's like, dang, no, I'm, I'm okay. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like I'm competing against you guys. Mind you, there's no box score. There's, there's no contracts. There's none of that. We go around the circle for two hours, you go home. Back to a nine to five. If you have a nine to five, I know I do. But um, I'm just here to talk all day. I, you know what I'm saying? So I, like I said, Miss Sneakers on track. You hear that? Miss Sneakers on track. Um, all right, one more, one more. Uh oh, one more. He said one more. He said one so more. So, what's your favorite thing about recording? I'll say. So one thing I noticed is when I first started recording was. Um, so I just record, you know, what's you know, what's on my phone, whatever. But after I started to get the um, the softwares, you know, the editing stuff, she she taught me all this stuff because she's a she's a professional photographer right here. Oh, she's so the, she the coldest one in Chicago, man. Y'all go check her out, please do. So you gonna teach me something? I need to learn man, too. Man, she I'm telling you all the stuff right here, if, if it wasn't for her, I'd be sitting there scratching my head. Man, yeah, please get this woman right here. Please do, because man, she knows you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I'm telling you, editing, man, like, one thing I have noticed is able to delete all the people who's falling, able to put certain parts of the video here and there. It's like you have, it's like you have, it's like magic. People don't know that, but you can make somebody look super bad, look super cold, because it's, it's like recording highlights. Because of that, you, you go to the skate right now, watch that same person, it's like, dang. He ain't all that, for real. But the power of, like, videographers, it can make you look really good because of that. So, right. that's about my favorite part. So, I mean, hey. Interesting, interesting. I like that question. You got any more questions for me? I don't want to hold you up too long. Let's <laughs> do a part two, and I'll bring you some more. Hey, he said one I know part you two. want to get out there a little bit. <laughs> it's, but... my, it's my song right here, right here. But, um, like I said, I appreciate everything. Um, like I said, it's going to Thank you for having me, family. Listen, I hit him up about a month ago. I told him I wouldn't be out here. Um, I had some events to go to, but I said, I'm here right now. I'm going to come back here because I feel like every time I come to, come to Wisconsin, it's love. Like, it's love. The skaters is just as good out here. Like, I come out here, it's like, dang. They they go ahead. They go crazy out here. Like, Latanya, we went to Star. How was it at Star last time? Man, man, man. Go tell them. Tell them, man. That was my first time there, so like I had a lot of fun. It was a vibe. Everybody there was super nice. So, but what about the talent though? Like, oh, the talent! Yeah, there was a lot of good people out there. Yeah, it was a lot. So I, yeah, I knew. So I, I knew that. So I knew that they was they was cold, but like the last one I went was like the last year. But man, they they got they got yeah. real. Man, I'm sorry. Bring your them out here in Chicago. They'll do some work, man. I don't care what y'all say, but <laughs> hey. But I said um, once again. We appreciate it. Um, hey, thank you for having me. Yeah, there's a bro. part two because I want to ask some better questions. I know it's been kind of some technical difficulties, but once you're set up better, we got some headphones. We don't go crazy. But until next time, we appreciate it. Quad Squad Chicago, we out.
Appreciate uh, it.